All right, it is that time, 7.04. It's a Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday, Tuesday morning. So um, moving on into week three. So I decided to go with this thumbnail out of... Well, actually, I was told, but I, I, I like this thumbnail too. So <laughs> it works out. Um, let me see. And turn everything. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. That's it, and that's it, okay. So, um, yeah, this is the one that we decided to go on. Um, so now I'm just kind of editing it and implementing the feedback so I can move on to like the next step, which is to um, make like a collage as like a personal reference so I can um, have something to look on for the final illustration and just like make sure all the parts are cohesive and working together um so yeah i just have to like redo this uh, some of the feedback that i got was to um make it more gestural um i did start off with like mannequins underneath but i think when i add on the clothes it makes it a little bit um stiff so i need to make sure that i add gesture to the clothes as well um, and then also, you know, it doesn't hurt to do like just regular anatomy gestures too, because I, I try to push the, um, the, the poses wherever they are. <laughs> That's not it. That's it. There you go. So this is like what I started with. Um, yeah. So I, uh, I can see, you know, like trying to add a little bit more gesture to it. Um, and then I'm also going to change the axe and make it, um, sideways instead of, like, coming out from the side. Not, what am I saying? Not sideways, but, like, go across the body. And, yeah, so those are, like, the main changes that I'm going to do. And watching some trek train. I love watching, like, um, <laughs> isn't that, like, a nice shot? Um, like, travel vlogs and stuff recently, so... Yep, YouTube and drawing. Okay, so I'm jumping into the changes now. My main goal here is to clean up the thumbnail now that I know like which one I'm going to go with. And I want to clean it up and make it more readable. Just kind of get the basics down because after this I'll be making a collage to have a more realistic reference for what I'm going for. Uh, I'm working on some of the anatomy issues that were pointed out to me. Like the forward leg not being long enough and the pose being too stiff. And then adding an axe uh, or making it more horizontal and then adding a cape. I'm kind of working with the background. I don't know what to do with the background. So that's that. <laughs> and then having things like rocks and snow and, and twigs uh, in the foreground. Basically making what I have in the picture more clear. And then making sure I know where everything is and what goes where. I think this is one of my favorite parts of the process. I really like fixing things and making things uh, quote unquote correct. Um, when I was in school, I enjoyed proofreading and I also like doing paint overs and helping other people when I see like fundamental issues with the, or well, fundamental, fundamental issues that are kind of breaking the picture a bit. Um, it's just fun and plus I think it's because I really don't have to come up with too much. It's like the image is already there, most of the work is done um, and it's just like fine tuning everything. A lot of things just kind of like pop out you know so it's just like playing whack-a-mole <laughs> and like hitting the issues and then putting them back into an empty, empty void never to be seen again uh, I don't know but yeah since I'm satisfied with the main elements um, I go over it again this time I use like a really thick clear line because the main thing is to just get the shapes right because I'll be filling it in with photos uh, this took up some time to do, so I'm going to stop here and I'll do like the collage later. <laughs> I was at this train station and they had like some type of event going and man there was this dude he seemed like he was probably a professional singer like the he had like that that I don't know that presence like I, I'm here to sing and that's it like this guy isn't working part-time at like a grocery store or at a convenience store or whatever like he seems like he's really trying to get his career on track if it isn't already anyway <laughs> 
<laughs> I just say that because like the fact that he was singing at some random event with like a small audience and not at like a stadium was wild to me like he just seemed out of place I ended up just staying and then I got a picture with him and it was free like whoever watches his concert for the first time and asks for a photo uh, he'll just take it for free and then I also got this really cute clear file so I'll probably put that up on the screen but I'm just gonna let this play so you can just like hear how amazing this guy was <laughs> It is night 9.46. I still, <laughs> even though it says 21, it still feels weird for me to use 21. Um, in the U.S., we call it military time. <laughs> I don't know why we're so weird, but... Um, so, yeah, I automatically just, like... Um, what is it? Con yeah, convert it to, like, the like AM, PM system, so it's 9. Um, <laughs> anyway... So, um, yeah, I'm gonna start my collage. Um, I made a copy of the first one so I can, um, start, like, I'm gonna add photos. I also did, like, a, um, a 3D pose thing, so I'm gonna add that here. Um, but, yeah, there's, there was, like, this, um, Korean food fair at 7-Eleven a few months ago, but, um, one of the convenience stores... Or one of the convenience stores, one of the 7-Elevens, they, they still have some stuff. So, um, I found, like, these chips where it's, I don't even know if, I, I don't even know if you can call it chips, but apparently it's supposed to, like, mimic putting a croissant in a waffle maker, and it is so good. Like, I've been eating these, and then, um, they have sun chips, and they're garlic bread flavored. I think I've had maybe, like, 10 bags of those already, like, so good. So, yeah, um, snacking and drawing at night. Good times. And, yeah, I'm trying to figure out something to watch on Netflix. Not Netflix, but YouTube. Um, recently, I don't, I don't know if you, any of you remember this, um, thing. This, this book series, a series of unfortunate events. Um, it was, uh, they made it into a movie. Like, early, I don't even know. Well, I think it was early, like, 2000s, um, with uh was with Jim Carrey he was he was like the the main villain oh my god I love that movie so much he did such a good job and then um yeah I just like the the way they combined I think they did like the first three no I know they did the first three um books for that movie but there's like I think 13 of them um it was like one of my favorite series when I was growing up, so I'm, like, reading the, uh, or listening to the audiobooks now, so I did, like, the first two, and I'm on the third one, um, but yeah, this has been something I've been listening to recently. I like listening to, like, audiobooks, or I used to do, like, a lot of podcasts, but not as much anymore, but audiobooks and then just, like, really long, um, YouTube videos have been, like, on the background while I work, and yeah. Now I'm getting into making the collage. There is this app that I use, it's called Easy Pose, where you can get figures and then pose them the way you like. They have a couple of different body types, but it's pretty limited and you can't really customize it. So they have a muscular one, but it's not really what I was looking for. I wanted something, or someone who was more supernaturally muscular. So I had to liquefy it a little bit to make the muscles a little bit bigger, but I'm using this for the base. And then I have um, like the stick, he's holding a stick to represent the axe. 
Overall, I'm just trying to get the pose close to what I have because I'll just be um, putting clothes over it after. So after that's done, um, I got references or like pictures off of sites like Pixabay or Pixels. Uh, side note, uh, for those of you who know what like Pixabay and Unsplash are like if you've been to those sites, have you noticed the subtle progression of Pixabay? Like it used to look so messy. Um, I don't want to say trashy, but it was, <laughs> it definitely looked different than before, but I think both like Pixabay and Pexel slowly started to just look like Unsplash through the years, and I just found that amusing. But anyway, um, those are some of the good sites that, um, like if you're looking for royalty free or free to use images, those are really good sites to go to. I think some of them have restrictions for if you're trying to sell stuff or like use it for commercial purposes. Um, but I think for like courses, it should be okay. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm basically just taking elements from the pictures that I found from these sites and then putting them together. And here's the final result. I think it's also important to note that these images aren't being used in the final like image, <laughs> final painting. So. Um, making the collage it's not really like you're stealing the photos or like using them like i said in the final painting it's just like a reference to use so yeah like if you're someone who's iffy on that um again it should be okay especially if you're doing it for just like a course so now that i have the collage finished it's time for me to make the initial line art so this will be what i turn in for the week i start off really rough as usual and i'm trying to pack in more detail than what I've like done previously or what I, I have currently. Um, I'm thinking more about the buckles and the perspective for individual items like the belt with the fur and then like the skirt and the boots. With those I'm thinking more about what each thing is made out of and just how thick the fur is and like how thick the fabric is. So I do a rough outline and then I go over it one more time and this time I try to just be as clean as I can. I try to follow this rule where I try to draw a line one time and then minimize scratchiness. So as you can tell, it's a lot cleaner than what I started with. And again, uh, keeping all the other things that I mentioned earlier in mind, like the perspective, stitching details, uh, how things function. I think that's like one of the biggest things that helped me grow. Just thinking about every little facet of each item, like buttons, buckles, uh, how each element kind of tucks into the other and like overlaps one another. Going more into perspective, uh, for the most part I have an idea of how things will look when they wrap around but the shoulder pads especially gave me a hard time and this really showed my weakness in playing, uh, placing things in perspective. I didn't really take the time to make sure that they were placed on the shoulders properly. The first one made me struggle a bit but I eventually got it, however the one on the other side like the one that's hidden on this left shoulder. The the shoulder or the, the the one that's on the the right <laughs> it kept nagging me um and i don't know if i ever got it but i i drew something i was actually in the swatches discord and someone was fixing someone else's work and they had like um they made lines to help guide both the shoulder pads in perspective this was on like someone else's piece but that's something i don't do enough so i need to practice that one thing I enjoy about taking courses like this is that I get a lot of mileage in and it forces me to practice things that I usually just don't tackle. It really shows uh, weaknesses that I have and that I need to work on later. Uh, as an example, I never really paid attention to my line work for paintings. So that's one thing that they emphasize or like my teachers emphasize a lot uh, in this course. Like drawing and making sure that the line work is correct before you start painting. So now it's easier for me to draw and pay attention to like the textures and um, all of the stuff that I was talking about earlier with the details. I don't know if you guys uh, have ever heard of Scott Robertson, you probably have, he's pretty well known um, in like the art community, but he made this one book that a lot of people recommend if you want to learn construction drawing. I've tried it before and it was kind of hard for me to sit down and try to do the exercises because it was mainly just drawing. That's all it is, is just drawing. But I think after this course, I can go back and just try it again and learn like the proper way to place things like shoulder pads and other elements correctly in perspective. But I think it's time to wrap this up now. Um, this is what I got for this 
week's homework. So I'm going to turn this in and I'm looking forward to what they have to say during the feedback session. Another thing that I enjoy in this course is seeing the other students' progress and just like seeing how much we all grow towards the end. So I'm always looking forward to critique sessions and seeing what everyone else turned in for the homework. But yeah, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. If you stayed this long, please consider subscribing if you're not already. And check out some of the previous vlogs if you haven't. And yeah, uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll get you in the next one. Peace.